Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this Thackeray Binks Hocus Pocus DIY and I'm going to be doing a Halloween series where I'm going to be doing different Halloween projects for different movies. I wanted to share with you guys this Thackeray Binks wreath and it's so easy to do and I'm excited to share this with you guys. So if you want to learn how to do this wreath, then just keep on watching. So today we are going to be doing a very simple wreath using this Dollar Tree cat here. And so let me show you what we're going to need for this DIY. So you're definitely going to need one of these little wooden cats, real thin board cat here. And you're also going to need a wreath form from Dollar Tree. This is their 14 inch wreath form. Doesn't really matter what color, but you're going to need one of these guys here. You're also going to need some deco mesh. I have four of these rolls, but I only use two, and so you can use more if you want, but uh, that will depend on you. So you're definitely gonna need at least, say three, just in case, of these yellow deco mesh from Dollar Tree. You're going to need one of these spatula thingies that you get at Dollar Tree, and you're gonna need some wire cutters, some wires, uh, wire. This wire actually is really, really thin, so uh, you might want something thicker. What I did was I did my first wreath with this, but then I moved on to, then I realized that I could use some zip ties. So you might need some zip ties, scissors. Then I have these little black and silver stars that you get in the graduate the graduating section at Dollar Tree. So I'm going to just use the black ones. You're also going to need a sanding block from, I got this one at Dollar Tree. A lot of this stuff is from Dollar Tree, you guys. I just, I'm trying to keep it at a low cost. Then you're going to need just a piece of glitter paper. I have this glitter paper that I've used in many projects and it's just scraps. And I just need a little bit of this. Then paints. I'm just going to use a black regular paint that I've had for a long time. And then to paint my pumpkin, I have this pumpkin color in chalk paint, the Waverly chalk paint. And then I also have this folk art. It's the clover, it's called clover, this green. And then I also have some of this light mocha, the apple barrel that I might just do a little bit of dry brushing on the pumpkin. And then I also have some of this glitter glue that I may add to the pumpkin as well. And then if you want to do like a little bow tie, I have some ribbon here. I've had this ribbon for a long time. It is from Michaels, but you can use any ribbon. And this is a one and a half inch, I believe. Uh, yes, one and a half inch ribbon. That's what I use for the bow tie. And then you're also going to need a pipe cleaner or wire to tie the little bow. Then you're going to need your paint brushes. And then also, if you don't, don't have a Cricut, I use actually my Cricut to write this. I use my Cricut to write this saying here. And if you don't have a Cricut, then you can just use, Dollar Tree has the stickers that are the alphabet, you can use that. And I've done that in the past before I had a Cricut. So if I didn't have a Cricut, I still would have done this, but with the smaller little alphabet sticker letters from Dollar Tree. So let's go, let's start with this project. All right, so the first thing that we wanna do is remove this jack-o'-lantern from the pumpkin right here. This, I tried to save this jack-o'-lantern here so I can use it in another project, project, but unfortunately, because this is so thin, it actually broke off and I couldn't use it. So if you want to leave it on, you can leave it on. You don't have to take this pumpkin or this jack-o'-lantern off. But for my purposes, I am gonna be taking this off and I am gonna be using this spatula here. Now you would think it would be easy, but it is not. So take your time with this and be very careful not to cut yourself. So I'm just gonna start going, see how I already tore right here, that piece right there. So you wanna be very, very careful not to cut yourself, not to get yourself with this because this is, this can, uh, really hurt you see there we go I'm lifting this up I'm trying to go gently because I don't want to destroy the bottom the bottom 
pumpkin there. You are going to have a little bit of the glue up here, but you can always sand that down. Now, if you can't get that much off of here, like this, as you can see, again, you can sand that down. But uh, I'm going to keep on trying to try to take off as much of this as I possibly can. Again, be careful not to do too much because then you'll end up breaking off this pumpkin here. So I think that's okay right there. As you guys can see, I can get the rest off. But I'm going to get my sanding block here. And then I'm just going to sand this down. You could sand it down all the way down. It's going to take a little bit of elbow grease and a little bit of time, but you can do that. That's what I did with the other one. Uh, I'm going to see if I can try, maybe try getting like a heat gun and heating it up a little bit to kind of loosen up the glue there. And then you can just use this and pick it up. So I'm going to go ahead and try to sand this down and try to get this as smooth as I possibly can. And then I'll be right back. All right, you guys, as you can see, I took out as much as I could. I sanded the rest down. And so it's not very much that I have left. If you want to keep your jack-o'-lantern intact, then you can do so. You just won't be able to add anything, the saying on here that I have on my uh, wreath. But uh, you can always add it up here if you wanted to, something, whatever you want to do with yours. Um, but if you wanted to keep the integrity of the jack-o'-lantern, you can just leave it the way it is and just, you know, paint it however you want so this right here I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the cat black and then I'll go ahead once that dries and paint my jack lantern like I said uh, or my pumpkin I'm gonna paint it in this uh, orange can't talk today I'm gonna paint my pumpkin in this orange and you really don't need to see me do this I'm gonna go ahead and paint my cat and my pumpkin and my stem but once it dries I'll come back and then I'll show you how I am going to add shadows to my pumpkin so I'm gonna paint this and then I'll be right back all right just wanted to show you guys really quickly I am painting the outer edges and the inner edges of the cat if you wanted to if you wanted to cover the holes you could do that um, the bow tie is gonna cover this hole this hole I'm not too concerned about so if you wanted to, you can go ahead and cover them and then paint over them. Get in all these little edges in here, like right here and around the nose and the eyes. I'm just using a little fine little brush like this. And then I just go right in here, you guys can see, and I just paint in there just like that. If you get a little bit on your pumpkin, it's okay because we're gonna paint the pumpkin anyways. But yeah, we're just going into all these little areas where the big brush can't reach and we're just gonna go ahead and paint that. All right, so here is my cat. As you guys can see, it's just a very basic black, orange, and green. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and add some lines coming down, very, very thin, very faint lines. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna use this light mocha and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go ahead and put just a little bit down because I'm just gonna pretty much dry brush on the lines and I'm just gonna use like the tip of my sponge brush here that I got at the dollar store and I have a little bit here dab some of this off of here and then start doing your your lines however you want to um, do them uh, let me see it's kind of hard because I'm standing away from the camera so let me see if I can get this without it's gonna be a little difficult here okay let me see
and I'm just going like in a circle, like a half circle. If it doesn't come out too good, that's okay. I am going to, you can always go back with the orange and, uh, Okay, so that's that there, but I'm going to sand that down a little. Now there's different ways of doing this. You guys can do, do it your way however you see fit. This is how I'm doing this one. So there's that. Uh, let's see, and then for the stem, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just add a little bit of this color, just a little bit here and there. See a little bit like that, if you guys can see. This is not gonna stay like this, just so you guys know. All right, and then I'll get a little bit of black, very little of this. Wipe it off again. And then maybe go over with a little bit of shadow here and there on the edges. And if you don't like the way it's coming out, you can go over it again with the orange. But you just keep on playing with it until you get it to how you like it. And uh, I'm just doing just light strokes here and there and if again if I don't like it then I can always change it up I can go over it again it's just paint it's no big deal and I probably will go over it with some more of the orange and then I'll sand it down and get it to how I want it um, I did add brown on the other wreath that I did that I showed you guys in, and uh, in the beginning I don't remember if I used this one I think it was this one the burnt umber from Apple Girl I'm gonna add a little bit of that all right let's get a little bit of that one I'll do the same thing wipe off as much as you can then I'm gonna go over the stem just a little bit see like that go around Okay, so I am going to keep on messing with this guy, and then once it dries, I'll sand it, keep on messing with it until I get it to how I want to, and then uh, we'll, we can add our little saying on here and our little bow tie. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this, and then we'll move on to making that wreath form. I All right, so we're moving on to our wreath form. So... What we're going to do is uh, you're going to need your wire cutters. You need a good pair of wire cutters. These are not the greatest, so I definitely have to put some serious strength into these, but you're going to need a good wire cutter to cut through these guys here. And I forgot to tell you guys also that you will need some tape. I'm using this tape as well, uh, just tape that we have around the house. So you're going to get your wire, not your wire cutters, but yeah, your wire cutters. You're gonna get your pipe cleaners as well, get them ready. And so what we're going to do, is, so what we're gonna do is basically we're gonna cut up, cut one section. You know how this wreath has uh, different sections? As you can see right here, a section, here a section. We're gonna cut one section. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on the outer bar and then just, let um, see if I can do this. Grab, grab your wire cutters and then just go right in, that se in the section on the outside and just go ahead and start, Ooh, sorry, move the camera, cutting it, see, like that. You're gonna do that. Okay, there's that one. It gets harder, here. Because I have terrible wire cutters. Okay, there's one right there, and then we're going to come out to this side, and on the other end here, we're going to cut that as well. And I'll flip it this way so I can get closer to the... Yeah, there we go. Let me see if I can... Oh, Whew, that's really hard to cut. All right, 
do not throw this we can use it on another project all right so now you have right there your wreath that's open it's cut open so what we're going to do is we're going to gather the ends together now they're not going to be even as you guys can see right here see they're not even but that's all right i am going to go ahead and grab my zip tie and zip tie this guy i don't have any <laughs> smaller zip ties those are the only ones that i had and it's not going to stay completely on there because it's going to keep keep on wanting to slide see it just it slid but I want to make sure that this is secure so I'm trying to use as much as I can to, to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere so there I'm gonna cut off this right here all right but I don't want it to go anywhere so I'm also going to add some wire now this wire is from Dollar Tree it's really thin and flimsy so you might want to get more uh, thicker wire but this is going to do the trick because I am going to pretty much go around it quite a bit. I'm going to go around where I have the zip tie, can't remember the name, and just keep going around and around and around. The zip tie, the, this part, just put it to the back, the bumpy part where the little head is at, just put it to the back so you don't see that in the front. The back, nobody cares about the back, you're not going to see the back. So just put that to the back and that way it's kind of flush here. And then just keep on going around with your go around and around with your wire you want to make sure this doesn't go anywhere and that's why I'm doing this and that way I feel a little better that it's you know on there kind of secure so then you're gonna grab your tape and again I forgot to tell you guys about that I apologize but you're gonna get your tape I'm just gonna cut a piece to try to work with it and then you're just gonna go ahead and go around as well here and I'm shaping it as I go this is the only color that I had so I'm using this if you you know depending on what mesh you're going to use maybe if you can see through it then maybe you can get a different color but i don't think it's going to matter if, once you start putting your mesh on there because you can put it really thick see so basically that's what i'm doing i'm going to go again with another piece of tape i really don't want this to go anywhere i really don't want this to to move on me so that's why i am doing this but uh, you don't have to do this, all this. And I'm making it a little tight, but not like too, too tight where my tape is gonna tear. All right. So you're gonna do the same exact thing at the bottom here like this. All right, so here it is, you guys. There is the way I created my crescent moon. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my mesh and I already opened it now I'm thinking I am going to use the three I'm gonna use three rolls of this mesh only because let me show you guys really quickly if you guys can see can you see right there that one you could see with the Sun you could see right through the wreath so this one is for me the one I'm making is for my daughter so I'm going to actually use three of the mesh and I'm going to get it a little tighter so that way you can't really see right through it. So that's why I'm going to be using the three, but you can get away with two if you don't mind how that looks. Once you have it on your door, you won't be able to see it. That's because it's just hanging freely like that. But um, for her, I'm going to make it a little thicker. So basically what we're going to do is I'm going to get my mesh and what I do is I fold it in half like this and then I fold it in half again. And then I'm gonna go right over here to my wreath form and then I'm just going to go ahead and basically scrunch it up grab a pipe cleaner not a pipe cleaner I keep saying I keep calling these guys pipe cleaners grab a one of these um, 
Oh my goodness. Zip ties. I keep forgetting the name of these guys here. And then I'm just going to zip tie my, my mesh into the wreath form. And again, I keep putting that part, the bumpy part to the back. And then I just let my roll drop to the floor and then I just start I keep it folded in half like this and then I just start rolling it now I come this way and then I work my way back however you want to do yours is entirely up to you it is your project you do it how you see fit and how you would like and if you can find an easier way then uh, I do it and let, let us know in the comments below I always tell you guys that if you can find a better way to do things you know by all means do that and please share it with us so we know because maybe I could be doing this one way and I'm making it difficult and maybe you guys can find an easier way to do it okay so I am uh, here at the end and here I'm just gonna go ahead and I keep smoothing this out and making it tight but not real real tight where I don't want to mess with the the integrity of the form so I'm just going to bring this around like this and then I'll uh, cover right over this area here like this as best as I can and then I'll go over it again I'm trying so hard to not there we go mess that up right there that's not the, that part is not the easy part right there. But everything else is just easy. And then just shaping it however you want. And so basically, I know it's a little difficult to see you guys. It's just the angle that I'm in. And I'm actually in my husband's office. I'm not in my craft room. So I'm a little out of sorts here. So I'm just going to do this all the way down. When I get, when I finish my bolt, I'll do the same thing. I'll zip tie it. And then I'll start the other one where I zip tie that one. I'll zip tie the other one, the beginning of the other one. And I zip tie them together. And then I just keep going over, over, all the way to the end. I know you guys don't need to see me do this because I know this is pretty self-explanatory. You guys know how to, how to do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and just wrap my mesh all on my wreath form. And then I will be right back to show you what we're going to do next. All right. I wanted to show you guys this because I know I will get questions. I do get questions sometimes saying that I don't show the whole entire process at times. And I do apologize for that. So I am going to show you really quickly just in case you're wondering how to get these two together once you finish one roll. Okay, so this is one roll here. As you can see, I got the top of the crescent moon done. And I have this little bit left here. Then I'm going to get another one here, another roll. And I'm going to go ahead and grab that roll and do the same thing that I did with the other one just like this and then pinch it right there I'm gonna grab my zip tie the thing with mesh is that it gets caught to everything it's a love-hate relationship that I have with this mesh all right so let me see I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here right there okay so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this leave this one back here where it's at and then I'm gonna grab this one and bring that one together with this one here so I'm going to put them together like this you see here's this one and then here's this one I'm gonna put them together see it's just going over and then I'm just gonna bring them up to any bar that you want right here Okay, I want to make sure that this is still tight right here, this one. Don't let go of that one. And then I'm going to grab that, the other tail, bring them together. And then I'm going to grab it, my zip tie and zip tie them together. And I'm just using any of the rings inside the, the wreath. And then I'm just going to zip tie them together like this. Just like that. Push that towards the back and then you can basically if you want to you know if you want to see they're right there 
now you can just continue I put my tails back in there and then I'll just continue overlapping it over a little and then I'll go over that and that'll hide that and and that's basically it you know and then you just keep going around and around and around now if you have little strings like this don't worry about it we can cut them towards the end but um, you can also keep pushing this up to make it tighter like that if you want but yeah that's up to you I all right you guys so let me show you what I did now I'm gonna tell you that this project here uh, it's gonna take you a little bit to get this part done here it's not gonna come out the same every single time you do it I had to kind of mess with it quite a bit it didn't come out exactly the same as the other wreath that I did but you know um, it I did what I could with it it's not gonna be perfect remember these are you know homemade DIYs so back here as you can see I just put some hot glue here's the front of it and any loose little parts I just kind of glued them down with low temp glue be careful not to burn yourself right here and then with the little tail that I had left I find a little area where it is a pocket and I stick that little tail in that pocket and then I glue it down and then I add a little more glue just so it can hold and that's what it looks like right there so that way you guys know that's what it looks like I tried to kind of spread it just apart a little just a little bit not too much because I don't want this to come apart that way I have enough area here to hang the star that my daughter wants on hers like I did mine the only difference that I'm gonna do to hers is these little hearts here hearts I keep saying hearts these little stars here they're foam so I don't like that Dollar Tree wire that's really thin so I was thinking what can I do to get it on there and so I just have a needle and thread black thread and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and go right through show you guys I'm just gonna go right through the back of the of the star I don't know if you guys can see right here going back on the back and then up towards the tip of where the the star is at see right there like that where you guys can see that and I'm just gonna bring it through all right so I got the the thread inside both of both of these threads inside the little um, needle here and what you can do is you can either maybe go through this right here like this into your mesh and then get it to the size that you want it to um, or how long you want it to hang and so I think let me see I'm gonna do right about there um, I really don't like the way you could see the the string on there you know coming down but oh you can't see it so that that's right there you guys can see um, I just strung it through the mesh here um, this is gonna depend on how you want yours if I had like a clear see-through string which I do I just don't know where it's at I would probably use that and I like the wire because you can bend it and move however you want rather than just having it hang like this but again I don't like the way that looks there and so I think this is gonna be for now how I do this one just like let it hang tie a little knot or something towards the back so you don't see it and then you can hang it like this the next thing that we're going to do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and before we I move on to, to this we're gonna go back to Zachary Binks so Zachary Binks is already dry so what we're going to do is we have that little bit of that glitter cardboard or stock that I have here and this is just gonna go in the back of the eyes like this in the nose to give it that shine on mine I had done yellow eyes and then I put like a little black line in here but I didn't really care for the way that looked so I kind of sanded it down and painted it black but you could still see a little bit through and uh, it doesn't look bad I'll have to show it to you guys but my daughter wanted hers all black so I'm just gonna add some glue to the back of Zachary uh, Binks 
space back here and then I'm gonna glue this down like this be very very careful when you do this because when I was doing mine I burned my finger and I got a blister so just be very careful and that's that I was using um, low temp too so see I'm just going around where the eyes and the nose is at and then I'm just gonna glue this guy down right down here on the face I hope I don't have any going through no thank goodness I didn't want it to see through the I didn't go too close but see there you go you can you don't have to use hot glue you can use you know just regular glue and it just takes longer to dry but um, there's his his eyes and his nose you can add whiskers if you want to so now we're going to go ahead and add our little saying here again if you don't have a cricket then you can use just regular the ABC's that they have at Dollar Tree stickers you can just you know use that and they have the small ones so you can use that to fit it in here again I used to do that before so but uh, I've just been experimenting with the cricket I still don't know how to use it I only know how to do this type of easy stuff so that's uh, I need to learn how to use that guy but anyways that's his name Zachary we all thought it was Zachary in this house and it's Zachary Binks but um, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and just put this in the center of the pumpkin just like this and then once I do that I'm gonna do the bow all right so there it is as you guys can see I like the way that looks I just love it I'll tell you using the Cricut it's it's great it's great but when you do little words like this or thin ones like this boy is it hard to uh, get this uh, off of there but um, yeah it tests it really tests your patience I'll tell you that so with uh, it if you use the Dollar Tree if you use the Dollar Tree letters stickers then what I would recommend is putting glue over it so they don't fall out and you can use like this right here this glitter glue which is what I'm going to use on this one because this is not the temp uh, this is not the permanent vinyl that I have on here it's actually the temp so I'm going to go ahead and seal it with the glue and it gives it that that sparkle as well now you don't need to use a brush you can use your fingers that's what I did I just go over the I want to make sure that I get all the the words the letters that way they stay on and um, and then I just grab my finger you see I put it on there and I just rub it on there slowly so I don't mess up the, the letters and then you'll see when it dries you'll see it dries clear and you see all the little speckles of uh, glitter on there it looks really pretty and make sure you even it out you don't want to leave like chunks everywhere I'm gonna do the top also the, the stem here Just make sure that you even it out and it's all nice and even. I got it all coated. Now I'm just going to go with my finger over the rest and take off the, the extra, the extra that's on there. You can use a brush if you want, but I, I just like to use my fingers. No big deal. Okay. I think that looks good right there. So I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to put it to the side. Let that dry. All right, you guys, I came up with an idea on how to put, see how I put the star on here? So let me tell you what I did. So since I told you guys that that Dollar Tree wire here, hey, why did this open up? The wire is really thin. So what I did, I have, a, this needle is it's a pretty big needle. The eye is pretty big. So I got the this through here. And then I just did what I was going to do with the, with the um, thread and then I just grabbed one of these small little paint brushes and I just twirled the wire on there and then gave it that little loop there and then see it looks good it doesn't have the glue like mine does the big glop of glue and then I just glued it in the back right here just like that so that's how you can get that guy on there and then before I add any stars or anything else, um, I want to make sure that Zachary Binks is dry before I actually put him onto the wreath. 
and I am gonna make a little bow tie for him. He doesn't have one on in the movie, but I I wanted to add a little ribbon on there, you know, different types of textures on there. So, and it's just making a little loop like this, and then just closing it off, just like this, pinching it. making sure that these guys are even. Yep. Then you just grab your pipe cleaner. I don't need this much pipe cleaner. But I'll cut it off once I have it on here. And then I'll cut my ribbon once I uh, see how I like it. Right there, like that. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna twist the back. Cut that off. That look yeah that looks good and then I'm just gonna cut the extra ribbon that's on here there we go like that and if you wanted to add say a little you can do a little um in the middle you can just fold over some extra of the ribbon and then just add like a little in the middle or you can use something like that part right there which is what I did to mine and then you can just glue that just like that which is what I'm gonna do okay so here is what it looks like. I glued his little bow on already. And so you still have this little hole here. Now you can, what you can do is you can add some, um, what do you call that? Oh God, a spackle if you want it to in here or um, something to cover that hole, even some glue and then you can sand it down and color it. But I, I, I didn't do any of that. I have some of this crepe paper here and I just, what I did to my other one, is I just grabbed a little piece and then I just put it right through there. Black, of course, the same color of your cat. And then I just pushed it all the way through to its flush, if you wanna cover it. I mean, obviously this is just a really quick fix. There we go. Something really quick, just so that way you don't see the hole there. You're still gonna see it, but not, like from a distance you can't really tell. But um, if people get close and start criticizing, well, then you know what? They don't have to look at it. You know, I mean, however you want to cover that little hole. So I just, I'm just adding that on there like this. And then I'll add a little glue in the back here to keep it in place so it doesn't move. Just like that. You know, just quick fix, you know, because I don't have, I didn't feel like going and getting some of that spackle and stuff. So that's just quick for me. Anyway, so there is Binks. Now we're gonna have to put them onto our wreath. What you can do is you can add pipe cleaners to the back and then tie him in the back if you'd like. And uh, nobody's gonna see the back. Unless you have a door that has glass and you can see them, then you just don't wanna do that. You wanna maybe just glue them like I did my other one. But this is how I'm gonna, this is how I'm guiding myself. I'm just putting down my, my crescent moon how I want it, like that. And then I'm just gonna put my binks standing right next to him and then I'm gonna push him to, towards right here the, um, where the moon is at. So the back of the head I can glue it back here and then the bottom of the leg I'll glue here and then the pumpkin back here like this. And so I think that looks good right there. So again, you can add pipe cleaner and tie it to the back and maybe I'll do one so you guys can see. I think right behind Bing's neck right here. So I'll just add a little glue here. Let me move this to the side. I'll add a little bit of glue here. I'm going to fold my pipe cleaner in half and then I'll add the glue. I should have done this before the bow but I'm going to go ahead and put it right here in the back of Bing's neck. My daughter, I don't think she, she doesn't have a glass door, so I don't worry about the back. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and add my glue there. I'll put my pipe cleaner there and then so it doesn't move on me. Let me cut some uh, crepe paper here. Let's see. I'm just gonna add that on there. That way I can push this down. 
You can do the same thing if you wanted to add another pipe cleaner to the back of the leg here. Let me, mess, let me put my bow back. So you can add it back here if you want, back here on Bink's little leg. This is still wet, so I don't know. It might not hold. So when you put him on there, like let's see where it is, where's my crescent moon, like that. When you put him on here, then this, you just tie it back here, like that. You don't have to pull him down if you don't want to, if you don't want to keep this permanent. See, just like that. And then you can add one here. So it looks like right in here where the cab is at. And if you notice, this pumpkin, when they glued this, they kind of glued it off center so it doesn't look centered. But that's because they, they glued this kind of off. But I'm going to go ahead and add, I'm going to put my pipe cleaner right here on the back of Binks's calf or in the back of his little leg right here. All right, you see? Right there. That's how it looks. So now what you can do is now you can put your Binks on there wherever you're going to put him at. And I think I said right there. And you don't have to glue him down if you don't want to. Just turn this guy around and I'll show you guys. Just twist it on there. Same thing with this one. Twist it on there. You can cut these guys. I'm going to leave it like this for now. And you have Binks on there. Now again, see, you didn't have to glue him. Again, if you want to glue him, you can. And I'm going to add some glue to Binks. I am going to glue him as well as putting these guys, the pipe cleaners, on there. So I'm just going to add the glue right inside here, as you guys can see, right in here, just to keep him on there. And again, if you don't want to glue him, you don't have to. You already have the pipe cleaners. He won't be permanent. I'm going to glue the where the pumpkin is at, right in here. So I'm just going to continue to glue him and then I'll be right back. Okay, so Zachary Binks is already glued on and I glued, I cut my pipe cleaners down and I glued them back here. This is not, this is going to be permanent on here. Anyway, now you can glue down your stars wherever you want. Just add a little glue and just start gluing them wherever you want the little stars to be. And then I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and glue my stars and then I'm going to go ahead and do the little hanger show you guys how to put the hanger in the back of your wreath. All right. So, there are my stars. And so now what what I did is I took it to the door and let's just say right here. Okay? We have this one right here. Let me grab this one right here so you could see. Let me put the camera up a little. Okay. There we go. So what I did was I went to the door and let me grab this guy and I put it up against the door and I was just holding it to see where it against the door like this and see how it's tilting so I kept doing that until I until I got it flush straight and then when I got it like that I went ahead and I just added my little loop into the mesh in the back and just a little loop and I tied it you can glue it if you want I just I didn't glue this one because I did it really quickly and then you, once you hang it, you have it straight. See, just like that. So I'm gonna do the same for this guy, and I already did, it was up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Here's a long piece of pipe cleaner. And then I'm just gonna go, let me see, where was it at? It goes right here. Okay, I'm gonna go in between here. I'm just gonna move the mesh a little. And the mesh has little holes already, so you just put this pipe cleaner right through the mesh, you see? And then, actually I can go a little lower. Go a little lower here. I don't want it too high up. I'm just going to get it through the holes there. Okay. Kind of like you're sewing. And then, you can add your little... Make your little, I'm not going to cut this yet. I want to make sure this is exactly where I want it. And then I'll glue that. Let me put this on here to make sure that it's straight. How does that look? Yep, that's straight right there. All right. So uh, now that I know that it's on right, now I will 
go ahead and cut, cut this guy down. I'm going to twist, twist, twist the back, cut it down. Then I'll twist that around. Then I'll bring that part down where I did that right there. And then I'll just add a little bit of glue there so it'll stay. Let that dry. And then you have your hanger. And then there is your wreath. Very simple. I, it, take, it took me longer to explain it to you guys, but I want to make sure that you guys get this right. Um, and I know that a lot of people like me to explain details. Other people don't. But, you know, you get the concept of this wreath here. So I did, I did, I wrapped it like this because I didn't want to lose the shape of my crescent moon. But this is my Thackeray Binks. What do you guys think? I love it. Very simple. Very, very simple. Anybody can do this. If you're going to use hot glue, use low temp. I wanted to show you guys. I forgot to show you guys the eyes on my cat. I don't know if you can see. I told you guys that I had painted them yellow and then I did the black line in the middle and I didn't like it and then I sanded it down and then I put the black paint over it. But it actually looks all right. I like it like that. So I wanted to show you guys my cat's eyes. And uh, that's the Zachary Binks. So here are my wreaths. This is my Hocus Pocus inspired wreath here. Hope you guys like it.